Let's cut to the chase. There is no secret formula to this idea around landing a job in product design, or really any job for that matter, with no experience. It's simple. If you have no experience in something, then you need to get some. In this video, I want to share with you some strategies around how I think you can start gaining some valuable experience in product design if you're starting out completely new. But first, if you're new here, hello, I'm Alexa. I work remotely in San Diego, California as a senior product designer at a super cool tech company based out of San Francisco. Here on YouTube, I share videos about product design and careers in tech. So if you're new here and interested in learning more about design and tech careers, I'd love it if you'd be a subscriber. There are quite a few ways you can start gaining experience in product design, and they all require you to practice the craft of design. Like, a lot. You'll need to learn the tools. This is the software you will need to use in order to create design work. And then there's learning the design skills. These skills will help you be able to create design work and communicate clearly about it. When you learn the tools and you're able to apply your skills, the output you will create is a portfolio of example design projects. This then helps demonstrate that you have design experience. For learning the tools, you could start by taking a course that specifically teaches you how to use that software. The advantage here is if you're learning from an expert, they may be able to help you get you know, onboarded onto this tool faster than you could otherwise. Alternatively, you could try to just jump into the software and try to learn as you go. But ultimately, design software, just like any other technical program, can be tricky to learn at first. I do recommend getting some sort of guidance as you're starting out. Most software companies these days will have also created some of their own tutorial type content to help beginners, which is probably the cheapest and easiest place to start. Now, I've included a short list of courses and guides in the description below, which is a great place to start when learning the tools. So I hope that helps. When it comes to the full package of learning the tools and skills to become a product designer, the most guided way you can start learning is through some sort of educational program. This could be through getting a degree from attending a college program for two to four years, or it could come from an accelerated six to 12 month program you could take through a boot camp, or you could consider taking a starter course on design on a platform like Skillshare. All these could help you gain that very important experience that you are looking for. Perhaps you start with that starter course on Skillshare to get that baseline experience, and that's great, but you're going to need to keep practicing, continue to go deeper with the craft, and create multiple complete projects in order to ultimately land that full-time job in product design. And if you are in one of these guided educational programs, they will very, very likely help you to create these complete projects that you'll need to use in your portfolio. This type of work, which you know, was not created in a real business setting per se, is totally fine and acceptable to use in your initial design portfolio. It's almost expected. I've also included a list to a few of these more in-depth educational programs that I recommend, which I think do a good job of preparing you to learn product design more completely. Make sure to check out those links in the description below. Similar to creating example projects through a program, you could try and gain more experience by working on personal projects. Once you've learned the principles of design and the design process, you'll start to see there's lots of room for improvement when it comes to the digital products and services we use every day. You could create your own example projects through identifying these issues and turn them into newly crafted design work again, which you can put into your portfolio. Working on your own like this can be tricky sometimes, but certainly another great way to gain more experience. Similar to any work created in an educational setting, these personal projects may also be used in your design portfolio to prove you have relevant experience. Make sure to add that work if you're proud of it. Another great way to gain experience in product design could be through participating in hackathons. Now, if you're not familiar with this term, likely coined by someone in the tech industry in the 90s, a hackathon is an event where people with various technical backgrounds come together to rapidly and collaboratively create something completely new over a relatively short period of time, usually one or two days. Most of my hackathon experiences have been at work, where we have been given a few days to split up into teams and work on solving problems that we don't typically work on. The advantage to the company is that sometimes teams come up with really cool and interesting business ideas that they could then turn into real projects or solve challenging technical issues again, that the company can take and actually you know, integrate into their technical systems. And this happens through deep focused work and a new perspective. Outside of a work setting, hackathons bring people together in the same way and are sometimes themed around gnarly, wicked problems. That all to say, these events are a great way to connect with new and interesting people and gain that very valuable experience you are looking for. If you're not familiar with Design Buddies, I think you should be. Created by the lovely Grace Ling, Design Buddies is an inclusive design community where all designers are encouraged to join to level up 
up in their career. More importantly, I know that they've hosted design hackathons before, so I recommend checking out their website and joining their community to stay up to date if and when they announce they are hosting any new hackathon events. And lastly, one final way you could gain more experience in product design could be to work on real projects with real people who need real design work. Do you have any entrepreneurial friends who may need design help? Maybe put out a post on Twitter or LinkedIn to see who may need help or you know, even search product hunt for some cool new inventors. You know, basically try to find those people who may be seeking design support and connect with them. Working with non-designers on real projects will create a lot of great relevant experience for you and is a great portfolio piece to share in an interview. That said, if you do work with other people who are working on real businesses, just make sure you feel like you're getting fairly compensated for your design work. How to navigate these conversations is a whole other video in itself. So if you're interested in that conversation, let me know in the comments section below. And also, if you are trying to navigate this and you just want some insight, I'd be happy to work with you. You can book time with me one-on-one -on -one through my design coaching practice on Superpair. You can also leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you right there. My main point here is just make sure that you agree on some terms. To close out this video, I want to share an example from my own life where I'm applying this idea of trying to gain experience from no experience. Professionally, one of my big goals is to eventually move into a people management role. It's honestly been a dream of mine for so, so long now. And becoming a product design manager does require a unique set of skills to the role that I'm currently in. And so the question is, how can I start gaining the skills needed for this new line of work? Some practices I've been focused on to try and gain this experience are through coaching designers one-on-one -on -one with my design coaching practice with Superpeer. At work, I've signed myself up to manage and mentor product design interns as well as design contractors. And I've been working with my manager to find opportunities at work where I can gain experience in improving systems, better our design team's best practices, as well as opportunities to practice my storytelling and presentation skills with people in higher up leadership positions. By the time I'm able to switch to a product design manager position, I plan to be able to confidently step into that role knowing I've got some good experience. I know there will still be a lot to learn, but it won't be no experience, that's for sure. If you take anything from this video, I hope it is this. Learning product design does take a lot of practice. No one can truly get into product design with no experience at all. Your learning journey could be six months, 12 months, two years, four years, whatever it is. Make sure that if you're all in with becoming a product designer, that you continue to work on learning the tools and gaining the skills you need to get the job done. The more you practice, the more experience you'll have to show for. And with that, I'm gonna wrap up today's video. If you made it here to the very end, thanks so much. Don't forget to like this video if you thought it was helpful and subscribe if you haven't already, for more content about product design, careers in tech, and working remotely in San Diego. Wishing you all the best, and I'll see you in that next video. Bye!